What's going on YouTube? It's uh, K Rider again, and we're still at it with Big Red Buddy, um, the Mazda Speed 6. So today we've got some goodies to uh, put on. Well, not everything's going on today, but I've got some new goodies finally that finally came in. So let me show you what we got. All right, so I've got the little bushings for the uh, front and the rear uh, brake calipers. I uh, decided to go ahead and replace those. Um, I've got new brake pads. These are the Duralast Elite brake pads, uh, the rear brake pads uh, with the hardware. I've got a new uh, oil filter. I'm going to do the oil while I'm doing everything else. Uh, this bag is empty. That was a new cap for my um, brake fluid reservoir. My old one was messed up. It wouldn't lock in place. A new um, nut. For the CV uh, shaft axle and the brand new CV shaft axle for the passenger side. Uh, that is OEM. Got it from Mazda and no, it wasn't cheap. But um, that's what we're at today. So here we go. Okay, so first things first, um, as you can see, I'm painting this portion of the, the brake rotor. So um, I've already hit it with uh, the primer. This is just one coat of the black. I'm gonna do two more coats and um, I'll show you what it looks like when it's uh, said and done. Okay, so I just did the second coat and uh, I'm pleased with how it's looking out. Got one more coat and I'll be done with it. All right, YouTube, so one, um, one of the things I gotta do is um, on the rear caliper, as I mentioned before, you have to uh, screw this little uh, piston back in, and I'm using this little tool that I bought at, I think, O'Reilly's for 12 bucks. And I'm using the, the side with the uh, four points, as you can see, because it fits just perfect in there. So um, I'll show you this in a second, um, but, but another note is that, um, well, um, since I don't work for no one, and I'm not really a mechanic, and um, I'm my own boss, I decided that, um, you know what? I'm gonna start drinking a little beer and hopefully that'll help my project go along a lot smoother. So, here we go. Let me show you what um, how this little tool works and how easy it is. Some people have said that they've had an issue with it. Um, I haven't found that to be the case. Uh, you basically just put this in here and, um, and all you're doing is just pushing in and twisting. You can see it turning, sort of. You can, let me see if I can get that. You can see it turning and as it's turning it's squeezing in but you got to be cognizant of the boot because it does get crimped up a little bit um, so from time to time I'll just sit there and I'll try and adjust the boot and uh, smooth it out but you can see how um, how it presses in so uh, we'll keep at it and I'll show you what it looks like uh, when I'm completely done uh, screwing it back in okay so I think um, that is screwed in all the way and it looks really good actually um, the boot is in there and everything um, and the reason why I think it's all the way in is because no matter how much I I turn it now and it's just um, all it's doing is spinning it's not really going in any further but um, you can see it uh, it just spins and spins at that point so I I believe it is completely all the way done so anyhow that's that nifty little tool from uh, O'Reilly's uh, but they sell it I think everywhere uh, AutoZone um, but whatever other um, uh, auto parts stores might be around your area so just look for it anyhow uh, I'll uh, put this back together now and see if we can get on the car um, also side note when I painted the rear caliper one thing I did not want to do was paint all this portion so uh, all I did was just hit it with my little um, DeWalt drill and the, the wire brush and I polished it up cleaned it all nice and neat and uh, so I left that portion in the, uh, the silver or chromish kind of color and I painted only uh, from here up as you can see so um, anyhow yeah so we'll get at it okay so I am right now trying to figure this out because I've got like I said the little grommets or little boots for the um, for the rear brakes uh, I know these obviously go on the slide pins. That's not a problem. So I've got the slide pins and I've got the new boots here to replace them. Um, and I'm just doing that. They don't necessarily need replacing, but as long as I'm working on everything here, I decided to go ahead and 
replace what I could and, and go for it. Now the issue is that I got four of these, uh, which makes sense because there's four slide pins, but then I got two of these little little fellows here and I have no idea what these go to. So I'm gonna try and figure out what they go to and see if we can go ahead and get those replaced too. So, oh, and that's my wife in the background, so. Okay, so I'm getting ready to put these together. I still haven't figured out what that little, the little one's for. Um, but uh, I'm gonna be using this uh, Permatex Silicone Ceramic Extreme Brake Parts uh, Lube, and that's gonna go on my uh, slide pins and uh, my new boots. Um, one thing that I've been seeing on YouTube is anytime you have any silicone uh, touching metal that you need some kind of a lubricant, and um, but you wanna make sure that it's silicone based because uh, the other stuff will deteriorate your um, your boots otherwise so just be cognizant of that okay so I put the lube on one of the slide pins this is it right here uh, and yes it, that that lube is orange in color um, but I'm not a fan of orange but it is uh, at least you can see it um, and now I'll just slide the boot one uh, note of caution is whenever you lube these up make sure and I've seen this on YouTube do not uh, lube the tip of the um, of the slide pin otherwise it won't be able to seat in correctly and that could cause uneven brake pad wear so just be cognizant you just put the lube on the shaft itself not on the tip see what I did there okay that's why it's uh, this is R-rated possibly all right so I'm done for the day the brake caliper uh, is painted the brake rotor the hat of the brake rotor is painted at least that's I believe what they call this uh, it has new brake pads back here this is the driver's uh, rear uh, side and uh, everything's put back together uh, let me see if I can get you a little better shot um, with how it looks because these are the areas that I decided not to paint I just polished them up and uh, again everything's put back together and um, I think what I need to do is just make sure that everything's torqued down properly. I believe that the bolts that attach the bracket uh, at the rear, it's the two bolts. I think those are torqued down to 20. I did uh, 30, I, I believe, but I'll double check that. Um, but anyhow, this is uh, the end product and um, hopefully, uh, hopefully it will pop a little bit and all this work that I've done uh, will not be in vain. So um, the beer did help because uh, I kind of had to figure out how to use the um, all these brackets and everything. I've never done that before. Um, and my other one is taped up so I couldn't really look at it. But uh, I figured out how everything uh, fit on there. And now all I, all I need to do is just bleed the brakes once I'm done with all of them. And uh, we'll add brake fluid obviously, but uh, then bleed them. And, uh, and hope for the best. So leave me a comment just to know that I am not out here by myself, if you don't mind. And um, I'll see you next time. Thanks.